Maple Cater, and I graduated from UMass in 1991, and I'm originally from New Jersey. I'd have to say probably my favorite memory is from my freshman year playing in the Final Four and playing in the National Championship. Uh, we lost that game, unfortunately, but it goes down as one of the uh, highlights of my career um, from the time I started playing when I was nine. It was a great experience. You know, I knew I wanted to come to UMass really early on in my college search. Um, it was an easy choice for me, and I loved every minute of it, from my sport management degree to my time on campus, socializing, um, the friendships, the lifelong friendships that I've made. It's definitely a family environment around this program, and I think that's important for everyone to know. Like, it's just a great experience, and it's just a reflection of all the people that are back here now. You know, we had so many good times playing on the field and off the field as like a family. Early on in my college career, I knew I wanted to coach, so since I graduated and went on to pursue a master's, I've been full-time coaching at the college level. So I've been, I came back here and coached for two years, which springboarded into my um, career after UMass, and I've been coaching at Syracuse University, and now I'm at Colorado College coaching college soccer. I'm Debbie Belkin Rademacher from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and played from 1984 to 1987. Back then, we there are so many good memories. I guess the highlights were we were Final Four every year. Senior year made it to the finals, which was a huge hurdle. Um, you know, went up against UNC, lost 1-0, but we played here at UMass in about 16 degrees below zero. Very memorable. Um, just a lot of a lot of memories. We played on Upper Boyden. We had great crowds. People coming back from class would sit and line the hill, and uh, we had a great following. Just a lot of great memories. Good team. Um, sophomore year, 1985, we were undefeated, um, number one in the country. So this is a great time, especially when you keep in touch with your teammates and the people all around the country. Um, you know, we, we haven't seen each other for a long time, and we got together yesterday and we were bringing back stories and, and just reminiscing and having a lot of laughs. So there's just a lot of good memories here and, and ones that I'll never forget. Well, when I left UMass, I went into coaching. Uh, I was playing with the U.S. women's team, and so I got to continue my career after college, which was a great time. And then when I retired from actual playing, I became a coach, and I had been at the University of Michigan for 14 years. And that, had a family and I'm raising my family there and um, yeah that's what I'm doing. Now I coach youth soccer, youth, young girls and trying to give back to the game. Hi I'm uh, Holly Helmet Wiles now um, and I played at UMass 89 to 93 and I'm from uh, Fairfax Station Virginia. Uh, probably my best memory of all my four years at UMass was beating UConn in the um, final eight game. It was one of the first times we'd beaten them in quite a few years, and it was a 2-1 game. We scored a final goal at the end, and it was, it was awesome. The place erupted. UMass is one of those places that I drive into the southwest dorm area, and my stomach drops. There's so many great memories, playing basketball in the quad, and um, running around doing crazy stuff, spring concert, all those memories flash by. It was great. Since I left UMass, I still play soccer in a women's league. I have a blast there, and um, I started my own recruiting company, and actually, uh, Kathy Cassidy Welch, who graduated four years before me, also works with me, and been really successful doing that. Sue Montaigne, Pat Bird, and I'm from Fairfax, Virginia. And I played from 1985 through the season of 1988, graduated in 1989. I mean, there's so many incredible memories, but Definitely um, bonding with the team, getting to know everyone, playing with such amazing players. I mean, how often do you get to play with national team players that are, you know, integral parts of your team? Um, and obviously going to the Final Four and, of course, uh, you know, the national championship game my junior year was amazing. And just playing with and getting to know, you know, lifelong friends all the time I think back. And I think it really molded who I am today and gave me um, such mental toughness and strength and um, the will to compete and the, you know, to care about one another and to play for each other um, and so many great things that motivate me in my life today. Incredibly enough, I've actually been a college coach and 
Um, I've been coaching uh, University of Minnesota, Minnesota for seven years as a head coach and University of Georgia for five years as a head coach. And I've most recently been at the Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia for the past five years. And um, having my experience as a college player and then being a college coach has just uh, been incredible and helped really transform my whole um, coaching philosophy.